Good evening, this is Josh Spicer from GameWisdom.com and in this video I am playing Out There Somewhere. This is an indie game that came out I believe a year or so ago and it's a good 2D platformer. It's also very short but it does I think what it needs to it within that time and we're going to play it in this video. Now, a uh, brief warning, this is a spoiler play, so I will be going through the entire game, which is actually about an hour if you're good. So if you want to go into this game without seeing anything, please turn away now. Anyway, let's get into it. Alright. So the story is that you are after a bad guy and you're flying through space. Got that good old retro music going on. Power-ups. And don't worry, all this will make sense in about uh, two minutes, I suppose. They're basically going after this evil villain type guy. Be just about there. There he is. So this is the super villain type guy we can deal with. standard to the shoe my but we're about to have a little twist in a few seconds but if I can't kill this guy. Turns out that was just the prologue. This is the actual game right here. So here is our little character. The twist of the game is that it's similar to Portal, that's about teleporting. As you can see, wherever that little blue spot hits will basically cause your character to teleport to it. And it's a pretty basic game. Yep. Now what makes things interesting is that your motion when you teleport is based on what you're currently doing. So if you're jumping in the air when you hit a wall and you teleport, you'll basically jump from that point. Or you can just use it to quickly cross a gap like so. These little monitors over here are checkpoints. As you can see, nothing too complicated. All right, oop. Puzzles will start to get a little bit more complex, obviously, as we get to multi room areas. <laughs> Shoot right through the ice there. And the name of the area, of course, you can see that at the top, along with my health. And if I you get hit, it's not game over, you'll simply just teleport back to the checkpoint as so. So you watch this. So you can see I just teleport right up there. There we go. And these little core 
force will basically make the ship stronger, which is good for the final battle. But they are completely optional. The game has a lot of secrets like that here. There's another core. And you will get a weapon that can attack enemies later. Her blocks or this red beam will block her teleport. Pretty short. If you're good, you can actually beat this in an hour. So we'll see if I can actually beat that here on this video. The game is a little dark, I think, or it could just be my monitor. Can I actually get up there? something up there, but I don't think I can get up there, at least not right now. Alright, so blue basically lets you teleport right to as such. This is where things get a little tricky. There we go, die. Again, the game's not the most complicated title out there, but it does a good job with its basic mechanic. Uh, I believe we go down first. And you have to use your physics to age you. Enjoy this game. It's a good, uh, I think, a good time waster for the hour or so of play. There's a lot of secrets too. A lot with the light core and just trying to find everything. So you can see, it looks like there's something important down there. Oh, health upgrade. Get a little tricky here. Good. 
health is important, but it's not going to be late for death in this game due to the very generous checkpoint system and the fact that you're really just more about the puzzle solving than about straight up combat. Even the long way really isn't that long in this game. Okay. And you have to time it so you want to shoot something on your way down. So that way you have enough time to jump up and be able to get around it. And the puzzles are just all about momentum and trying to figure out how to get your guy around. There we go. Back where we came from. Any up here? Eh, I got a little achievement. I'm not sure if you can see that though. Alright. Wait, if this is the city, what's over here? Oh yeah, that will take us to another hidden item in a few minutes. We have to go this way. Music, of course, that chip tune retro goodness. All right, there's our little path forward. I'm trying to remember if there's any other way around. Wait, there's someone over there. They really do love throwing in the hidden objects here. And this guy's gonna tell us, yeah. Can't go that way, but we're going to get our first, I think, only real major upgrade. Which is actually a weapon. There it is. And there's a health upgrade now. So now with this bad boy, I can now attack enemies and break those rocks. Can't do anything about the laser beam, though. We... There we go, got it. Alright, we're moving along. Again, not a long game, so won't be that much longer, actually. Okay, got some little bit of combat here. Having that extra two points of health is just going to make things a little easier for us. Alright, so now, once again, we have to make use of our teleport. Okay, there we go. Can I actually get 
you out there? No. Hmm. Okay, I think I see something. Again, the game just begs for you to keep exploring. This is the final type of beam in the game. It's a this beam just simply shoots your laser straight up. So you'll eventually have to teleport when you hit the top. Yeah, very tricky once you start throwing these multiple beams and basically performing a lot of actions at one point. So we can do this. Now we just need to actually we can just cheat right there. Now we got reflective lasers. got like two or three achievements for that part too. Puzzles do give you a little bit of variety now you get through. Alright, so this is one more thing until you figure out you can actually kill this thing. There we go. Now it's not so bad.
now we begin the very long ascent. It's been a while since I've played, so I'm just trying to remember all the solutions. Bad, pretty bad. Oh, wait. Sometimes the simplest solution is the correct one. Alright, now there is an upgrade over there. to the end, and there's like, I think this is like the final section. What's our time, actually? Hold on. 22 minutes, I managed to beat my record. Let's see, things are getting a little bit more dangerous here. Okay, that's the way we need to get to. Things are getting a little bit more challenging as you have to do multiple teleport shots in a single jump now. Okay. There's another light core.
Okay. Game's not really that complicated, as you can see, or really that difficult. Once you know what you need to do, it's just a matter of executing it properly. Right. There's our second guy uh, open. And we just gotta come back. Oh yeah, that's our little guy for the light core side quest. I can head up there pretty quickly. of these cores hidden throughout the game. I don't think I found love. I found a few more than I did last time. But it's not really life or death to go after them. It's the final boss is simple enough without. Them. So let's just keep going. I think there's one more area after this, or this could be the final area. Make sure you're going up in the air when you shoot your laser. Okay, so this is the final area. at like the big like super final portal or teleporting challenge. Let's see. Let's see here. There we go.
need to save that little guy down there first. So this is the big final challenge here, but it's not really that hard. The exit's all the way to the upper right, if you can make it out in the darkness. I guess this is my one little complaint with the game, is I wish there was more of these advanced challenges, as you can see here. And up. There we go. That's one of the things I think is missing from the game, that it never really devolves into like the super challenging stuff. So here's our final boss. Again, a uh, somber hallway to set the mood. And this is just a very easy fight. You know his little pattern of three shots and he'll teleport. There we go, got him. Feel like Dr. Robotnik a little bit. Alright, so that takes care of that. There's our core, what we needed to repair our ship. And there's another core. And here we go. <laughs> Don't worry, it won't be that long. All those light orbs kind of paid off. And we didn't even get all of them either. And that's the game. Yep. I actually beat this game 20 minutes sooner than I did last time. Out there somewhere. Oh, that's it, folks. I told you it wasn't going to be that long of a play. Let's see. 33 minutes. Oh, well, I beat the achievement and then some. But that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, it's a fun game. It's a very short game. I think that's the only thing. I would like to have seen more advanced challenges. I think having, you know, stuff that you would see like the late game portal stuff would have helped a lot to add more variety to things. But, it's a very, I think the gameplay was selling for like 20 cents at one point, so it's not exactly going to break your bank. Hopefully you can still enjoy it if you decide to pick it up, but that's going to be it for this video. For those of you who are watching this live, hang on for like 5 minutes, I think I'll play some Buying of Isaac, just to wrap things up because it was so short. For those of you who have been watching this on YouTube, um, if you like the video and want to see more plays of various games, please like and subscribe to the channel. That will help me out a lot. Make sure to check out Game-Wisdom.com for posts and podcasts relating to game design industry, as well as our ongoing Patreon campaign to secure some much-needed monthly funding to keep all this going. You can find me on Patreon under Josh Beister or Game Wisdom, and any donation would be greatly appreciated. And if you'd like to catch these videos live, you can find me on Twitch most nights around 10 Eastern, under GW Bicer. So again, if you're watching this live, hang on for just five minutes. I'll be back. And for those of you watching this record, thanks so much, and I will talk to you guys again real soon. Take care.